All right, hey, thanks again. This is Samansky Arts, and what are we going to? What we are going to be doing today is repairing a um, gigantic statue. All right, let me go grab him. All right. All right, there, this guy right here. Um, anyway, I got this from a local church. Um, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty large. I need to do some cardio. Um, anyways, there's roughly. Um, four spots that I need to repair on it. Um, I'm gonna like um, spin the camera around and we're gonna take a quick look at those and then we're gonna get cracking on it. Um, anyways, that's that. I think that's all I really need to do or really needed to say in the intro. Like I said, I need to do some cardio. Whew. Anyways, um, all right, I think that's it. Okay, let's get let's get cracking. All right, cool. All right, before we get started, um, I just want to mention I do bounce around from spot to spot in the video. So if you kind of get, if it kind of feels disjointed, don't worry. I will come and circle back around to those spots. Um, but just to give you a fair warning, I do kind of bounce a little bit from area to area. Um, okay, uh, with that, let's get let's get started. All right, cool. All right, first spot is the um, hand here. Um, I obviously have to reattach. These fingers, um, I think they were messed up on in transit to my house. But um, anyways, we're gonna reattach that. Okay. All right. Here's another spot. There's just some. There's just a little, tiny little nick right here. Not a big deal. I think this is all fine. Um, but anyways, there's a spot there. All right. There's a tiny little chip in the arm. Not a massive deal there either. All right. Also some minor little chipping on the one arm. Okay. One more item and we'll be good to go. Okay, now we got some damage to the foot. All right, all right, just a little bit. So we'll just fill that in. But anyways, that's that. That's the four things. And um, so now let's get cracking. All right, check that out. I just moved the darn thing and it's broke to pieces. Awesome. Um, yeah, we won't charge them for this, but this is gonna make my life a lot more difficult. All right. Cool, great, awesome. All right, now I'm in the kitchen and I've realized that this metal piece is snapped. It doesn't really, it doesn't really go in super deep, so I literally had to take that off. And we're basically gonna puzzle piece these guys together and then um, reattach it and it should be good to go. Oh, this comes out, great. All right, awesome. We'll probably, I'll end up probably gluing this I'm wondering what they did at that. They probably, the arms probably come out for transit. So maybe I'll check a look at the other arm and maybe that, if that thing comes out, then that'll make this a little bit easier. But um, yeah, maybe that's what um, we'll take a look at. All right. All right. You betcha, folks. Uh, this will literally wiggle out. This will wiggle out like this. Uh, I was wondering why there was a gap here. Um, is basically, I think that is for exactly what I was talking about, transit, and when you're uh, moving this piece around. Um, so that'll make this a bit easier. I can get around this a bit better now, um, get a better look at it, and not damage the rest of the freaking statue. Um, okay, so let's get started on this guy, and then we'll move over to the arm a bit later. All right, cool. All right, first step here is to figure out exactly where the fingers go. Um, I figured that out. Um, now we're just gonna basically, as you can see, we're gonna glue them into place um, with some Gorilla Glue, and then um, we'll uh, surround it with some plaster. All right, all right. First thing we do is we kind of get this little damp or a little wet, I guess you could say. Okay, that helps with the curing process of the glue, apparently. All right, we're gonna do this finger first. All right, I thought this video was gonna be boring. <laughs> This will probably be my, one of my more uh, interesting videos, or statue repair videos, I guess. Yeah, a guy was fixing a statue and he ends up breaking it in the process. Yeah, so anyways, we'll stick him aside. Okay, we're going to pop him into place. Okay, press that for a little bit. And then we'll just hold this for a while. And when then this gets a little bit harder, we'll put the other finger on. All right. Cool. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to dry out. Um, in order to keep this in place, 
um, because of gravity, I'll just like pull it right out of place, even though I have the Gorilla Glue on it. I'll put a little layer of um, um, super glue on it just to hold it in place uh, while it while the um, Gorilla Glue hardens. Um, it kind of expands a little bit. But anyways, um, once that gets going, I'm going to set this aside. Um, we'll put um, plaster over this and um, and then cover it up and paint it and we'll be, we'll be, it'll be good as gold. But anyways, um, that's that. Let's move on to, um, I think, let me start and do the foot. All right, cool. All right, this is the toe part. Um, some of the plaster came away from it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, um, again, I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue. Um, this is actually a metal piece that comes into the toe. So I want to harden that out. I don't really have the education to figure out a better um, um, product to um, make this really solid. So I'm just going to use this Gorilla Glue and this is this is tough stuff. So this will expand and harden as with the fingers and then um, that'll make it so that the toe um, is more solid even though it's got a metal piece, metal rod going in here, the plaster's kind of fairly loose here. Um, so I'm just going to like add um, that Gorilla Glue to make that a bit stiffer, uh, more solid. That way, um, when I add the plaster, it has a um, added uh, toughness to it. All right, cool. Okay, moving along, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I could just go over and repaint this. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this um, spackling. This is what I'm going to use with the rest of the statue um, and the other areas. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm basically, I'm going to create or put this on here and kind of shape it so that it looks, or it doesn't look, I mean, so it looks like it's, you know, whatever. Um, in other words, I mean, this is not going to really be seen up close. What I'm being told is it's going to be hung um, um, high off the ground, suspended, um, but I still want to make sure that it looks um, as perfect and um, as, it's, as it would if someone was to look at it up close. Um, that's just the kind of person I am. So anyways, that's that. So this is kind of cool. It's pink, and then as it dries, it'll um, turn white. Anyways, and then I'll just sand it, but okay, cool. Okay, again, this is just a tiny little chip, but I'm still going to go over it with some of this stuff. Um, same thing with the other arm. That way it's smooth, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't do cheap work. Um, I'm not the most educated guy in the block, but when it comes to other people's property, I take a lot of care in that okay so anyways that's we're gonna wait for this to dry then we're gonna sand it anyways I'm gonna do that with the other the other arm um, and there we go all right, all right. Cool. Uh, moving along we're gonna be taking the joint compound and putting it over the spots that are tore out okay um, I can make this um, I don't have to make this like exactly perfect because we can sand this down into place as we work it. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to apply this stuff and then I'm going to come back and show you how we, uh, fix the rest of it. Oops. Get you in frame there. All right. This stuff is pretty cool. I like it. It's really durable um, and it dries extremely hard, which is nice. So we'll just fill in the gaps here. Um, go on the other side here. It doesn't matter if it's super thick. Um, and I can, you know, sand it and make it better. All right. Cool. Almost done with this. Okay, now that this stuff is. Um, dried and all that, I'm going to go over it with my uh, trusty sandpaper piece and smooth it out as I will with the um, rest of the uh, statue. Oh. Alright, this is actually the most aggravating part of the project. It may seem 
pretty simple um, but if this paint doesn't really match up perfectly I've got to like mix some more um, colors to get it right we're just gonna dab this on here the trick about doing this is it goes on lighter and then it darkens up so this may um, not quite match up perfectly but um, I'll just add some white or something and we'll get it right right or whatever color I need all right cool I'm gonna stop the camera work on this for a little bit and then I'll come back and we'll see how it comes out all right cool all right we have the um, hand done um, it looks like I had I had to add some yellow to get it right um, it may or may not be quite right with this it looks like it's pretty close for pretty right um, but anyways with this one being right. done right now we're gonna move and do some more plaster work on the foot or some more plaster work except on the foot area all right nothing special here like I said just some more joint compound um yeah all right cool and we'll come back later all right all right i uh, wouldn't be doing a thorough thing if i didn't show every little spot that's getting repainted um and here we're gonna do the toe again i will throw down the base coat and then we'll go over it um make sure we get it right but anyways hope i'm not I hope my face isn't in the way of this. Alright, we'll go all the way around her. And so on and so forth. Alright, here's the tricky part. Um, putting these guys back in there. Um, this is the piece that goes on the inside. Alright. And then basically I'll just work my way around. Um, what we're going to do is, again, we're going to use Gorilla Glue um, to fit these pieces together and um and then we'll go from there um this piece kind of fits right there and then i'll just kind of work around um but anyways um the cool part um oh, let me put this this goes on the back side here i believe right there we'll put this right here where it goes and then anyways we just work all the way around till we get it um popped together okay and then um we'll be good to go um anyways that's basically what i'm doing um i'll come back and show you where it's at when i actually refigure out where these pieces go okay cool um one side note cool thing is i found some joint compound in a smaller version this stuff is great it's really hard and durable and All right, um, here we go um basically it's um in place Put, spin that around so anyways what I'm gonna do is I made a, a circle mark just so I could you know refigure out where the stuff's at um, we're gonna go in and we're gonna gorilla glue it and then um, and then we'll fit it back fit the metal piece back in there I actually might have to glue it in while it's in there but anyways and then um, then we'll be all right but that's that all right major pain in the neck all right, cool. Okay, this is the trickiest part of the project, I think. Uh, let's get this a little wet. Um, I have to make sure that this um, pe peg peg is in all the way before I insert it into this piece here. So we're just gonna do what I've done before is we'll just take some Gorilla Glue, yay. Put that in there real good. Oops. Okay, get that in there real nice and thick. All right, groovy, looks good to me. Okay, has to be perfectly placed. All right, we're just gonna hold that for a second or two. Not a big deal there. I don't have to worry about gravity or anything with that piece. And then we'll. Start putting All some right, in now here. that I got a sufficient amount in there, let's. I think I have to go over this piece too with some. Yeah, we gotta. Oh, whatever, we'll just stick it in there. We'll just stick it in there. 
Yeah, press it in real good, like. All right, cool. We'll hold this for a little bit, and um, we'll be moving on to the next spot. All right, cool. Crucial part. I'm not going to show every one of these pieces, but it's basically what I'm doing is gluing one at a time in place. It's not exactly flush. I had something off somewhere. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about a little bit later. But right now I'm concerned with just um, getting these pieces placed in the proper um, order. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to do that. Um, videotaping it is just too, too tricky. Um, so I'm going to put this whole piece together and then I'm going to come back and show you. All right. Cool. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. That was a complete nightmare. Um, as you can see, it's a, the glue is starting to expand. Once I got it together, I wrapped it in um, painter's tape. Um, that way it won't stick um, and pull away from the paint on the um, arm. And then I wrapped that with um, some Gorilla Glue um, to, to help keep it in place even better. Um, because like I said, the, the glue will expand and I don't want it to like, you know, push out and um, cause more uh, distortions. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, next step is remove the tape here and see where we're at. Okay. Where is the other edge on that? Okay. Okay. Not the most exciting reveal ever in the history of the world, but um, this is a really little bit piece. This, of course, is going to still be messed up a little bit. So, oops. All right. All right, here we go. Um, all the pieces are together. Um, just obviously I have to put some joint compound on all these areas, cracks, smooth it out, and um, then we can like get onto the painting part. Um, there are some little tiny issues I have to deal with. Um, as you can see, there's like a, there, it, this is kind of raised up higher than this. It should be smoother. Um, I'll probably take a Dremel drill and um, smooth that out. But the piece itself is solid as rock. Um, as you can see, and I'll just take a exacto knife and get rid of all the excess um, glue. Um, anyways, um, paint the neck part done. All I gotta do is do some touch-up stuff. All right, cool. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna sand down this part. Okay. It'll take a little while. But we'll get it. All right, next step is to get my joint compound in all the cracks and crevices on the arm here. I'm going to try and get this done before I go to work so that when I come home I can just start sanding away at this because it'll it'll dry out hopefully by the end of eight hours. All right. All right. Basically that's all we're doing. Just filling in the cracks basically. All right. All right. Cool. Be back in a minute. Four let's seconds, um, let's actually get started with that. I'll start with the. Oh, get the cap off. Um, we'll start with the uh, just the overlaying part. Obviously, a bigger paintbrush is needed. So let's just start going. Um, what I'm going to be doing is basically just going over it um, with this. Uh, like I said, base color, and then as we need to blend, we'll just dab our paintbrush in some black or whatever color I need to get the uh, shading done. Okay. All right, here's like a side note. Um, after painting a fix a job, you can really see some imperfections um, in it. So basically what I'm doing here is um, touching up some spots that um, look like creases and stuff like that. Um, as I said, sometimes you don't really notice them until you um, paint the piece and then they start showing up. So anyways, that's all I'm doing right here is just erasing some of the minor um, indentations that are still present. All right, cool. And then we'll be good to go. All right, awesome. All right, after having done, whoops. All right, after having done the um, smoothing spot, this is close enough to where I can get it. I repainted it, and um, we're where we're at now. Um, 
next thing is I'll probably show that. All right, I'll try and make this real quick. Um, after you paint it, um, I like to go over it with some type of varnish just to protect it a little bit from scratching and stuff like that. Um, I use this kind of thing, um, Delta Ceramic Coat. This is a matte finish. Um, you can also get a gloss finish, but I needed a matte finish because while the um, the piece itself isn't glossy, it does have a slight sheen to it. So I needed that to match up better with the um, the part that was fixed, repaired, um, and that helps with that. But anyways, I think that's all I really need to say there. There's the arm. Um, basically, all you do is like a milky milky like substance, and you just kind of like go over it, basically like you're painting it, and it goes on clear, and then it um, dries up, and there you go. All right, cool. All right, now I'm gonna tackle this area. Um, looks like I was missing a color, wasn't quite right. This looks like I might have to add some other color, but anyways, um, again, man, I'm gonna have to add some other colors in here to get this right. All right, cool. All right, here he is reattached. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty, blends in pretty good. Um, just did some minor stuff on the crown, the arms, and that was basically pretty much it on this area. Um, now I'm going to move down to the feet, and then um, we'll be done. All right, cool. All right, here's the feet, um, basically. All I did was basically repainted some stuff down here. Meow. Zip down. So that's that. All right. Cool. Move back out. And that's the piece. All right. Cool. Till next time.